The entrepreneurial journey comes with a lot of challenges. And today I want to share with you eight lessons that you can take away that could help you make your journey a lot smoother and a lot easier. Hey my friend, it's Mohammed here and let's jump into these eight lessons that could make your entrepreneurial journey a lot easier. The first lesson is to protect your assets. Now, what do I mean by that? When you're an entrepreneur, you open and expose yourself to a lot of dangers being the business owner and being the director of your company. So what you wanna do is you wanna ensure that you are protecting your personal assets from anything that happens within your business. So that means using the correct structures for setting up your business. So whether it be a PTY limited company or using trust structures or using uh, a series of companies, holding companies and uh, other structures as well. You also want to have um, insurance in place for your business and for yourself. So in the event of something happening to you, maybe due to sickness or illness, there is an insurance policy that could pay out um, and your family then could continue uh, supporting you and them and them if anything was to happen as well. So insurance is a big part of that. Then it comes to business insurance. If something happens to one of your key uh, staff members, so this key person insurance as well, and then also uh, public liability, product liability, um, professional indemnity insurance and so forth. So those kind of things protect you and they protect your business and also they protect your assets. Lesson number two is don't take failure personally, right? The entrepreneurial journey is filled with challenges. It's filled with highs and lows, ups and downs, um, and there's constant um, failures along the way. You, you do not succeed without having some sort of failure along the way. So there'll always be failures. Some of them might be small, some of them might be large, but a, an entrepreneur knows that failure is part of that journey to success so you can't take it personally. It happens to the best of us. Uh, classic examples of some of the uh, you know, really rich and wealthy people that have first gone broke trying to build their wealth and then they found a better way to do things and then they've succeeded. So they've always failed along their journey to success. Lesson number three, take care of yourself. Right? Being an entrepreneur, you are trying to go out and make um, build a business, build a brand, build an empire. Um, and a lot of times you tend to let your, your personal well-being, so maybe your health and your mental health um, or your physical well-being. So lesson number three is take care of yourself. Ensure that you're getting plenty of rest. Rest is important because you need your brain to be able to take a break from what it's doing, um, recharge, uh, and allow new and fresh ideas to come through. You also need to be exercising your body. You can't, you can't just be sitting, let's say, behind the desk or uh, running around uh, trying to be the entrepreneur. You've got to exercise and take care of your body. And then as well, you've got to eat um, appropriately. You've got to have a good diet, uh, mixing that with fruit and vegetables and everything else. So you can't just be eating fast foods and takeaways because you... Uh, you know, on the go. Lesson number four, hire people who are smarter than you. Uh, and this reminds me of a quote from Steve Jobs, um, former CEO of Apple. And he always said, we don't just hire smart people and then go and tell the smart people what to do. It's just, not, um, that, this, that doesn't work. You've got to hire the smart people and then get those smart people to tell you what needs to be done in the business and that's why you hired smarter people. You, you, you need smart people to be able to drive you forward. You need people that, can, that have different perspectives. You need people that have different skill sets within your organization, within your company. So an entrepreneur knows that they can't succeed by themselves. They need to build a team and obviously if you're building a team of smart people around you, that's going to propel you and it's going to leverage your business and it's going to allow you to move faster and, and reach your goals a lot faster. Lesson number five is to listen to your customers. And this is a simple lesson. 
Your customers will tell you exactly what they need, what your product is doing, what it's not doing, what they would like to achieve, what their goals and, and aspirations are. And if you listen to what those things are, you could go back and you can improve your products, you can introduce new products, you can find out what is working, what is not working. So your customers are sort of your, your best um, market research, speaking to your customers, listening to your customers, uh, and then taking that feedback on. Um, if you just you know, brainstorm with your team and come up with, uh, with an idea for a product, but you've never actually tested that with your customers, um, your, your chances of success are not as good as if you took something that your customer is actually asking for. So therefore, it's critical and important to listen to your customers um, and try and solve their problems, find um, ways and means to uh, uh, make life better for them. And that's obviously going to make it life better for you and your business. Lesson number six is don't take shortcuts. A common quote that we all know, there is no shortcut to success. It's important that you put in the time, you put in the effort, you do the work that needs to be done to ensure that you, on your entrepreneurial journey, you get to where it is that you want to succeed. So if you take shortcuts, your quality, uh, the quality of your service, the quality of your products are going to be affected. That's then going to affect your customers. Your customers then are not going to come back uh, and be repeat customers. They're not going to continuously support you because your quality uh, and your service has gone down because you've taken shortcuts to try and deliver those products and services. So it's important to focus on uh, what needs to be done. Take the long-term view. Um, don't take a quick shortcut. Ensure that you are focusing on quality um, because that obviously means that you, you're not going to be cutting corners, taking shortcuts, um, shortchanging your customers and so forth. Lesson number seven, always add value. Adding value ensures that your customers will come back because they know that what they're, getting, what they're paying for, they're getting their money's worth. So adding value is critical and important. It goes together with one of the other videos I, sh I shot and I spoke about creating an extraordinary experience for your customers. If you create a better experience than your customer would have with a competitor, then chances are they're gonna come back. We are now living in the experience age. People would pay more for an experience than they would just pay for um, a product. So it's important that you providing value so that they are happy to part with their money because they know that what they're getting is, uh, is, is, is more than what they're expecting. So really important to always be adding value. And it's not always adding value then to your customer. As you, when you're an entrepreneur, you've got to be adding value back to your staff. You've got to be adding value back to maybe investors that have invested in your business. You've got to be adding value to um, everyone around you. Your time as an entrepreneur needs to be uh, uh, managed so that you are adding value to everyone around you. Lesson number eight is be prepared for challenges. As I mentioned in the opening line, the entrepreneurial journey is filled with challenges, ups and downs, highs and lows. Uh, so you need to be proactive when it comes to facing challenges. You can't be reactive. You've got to be prepared. You've got to have a strategy, a plan in place. You, you always have to know that challenges will always occur and it's up to you to manage those challenges as the entrepreneur. 